Cool. So, I mean, we all use coding agents, and one of the problems they have is that the code they write actually runs really slow. So, right now what's going on is everyone is shipping a lot of slow code in the world. Because, I mean, coding agents act like junior programmers sometimes, and when you edit the code, when you don't really understand what's going on, like you are all running into the mistakes that Google and Meta and all these companies ran into when they start scaling. It just, your app breaks and your slow sluggish code essentially churns users and makes everyone unhappy. So the problem is like, how do we write fast code? The only way to do it right now is by expertise. So you know what's going on. Okay, you see, oh, this is slow. M maybe let me see what can I do here. Create a benchmark, profile it, try out a bunch of ideas and then hopefully something works. And then there's no guarantee that it will actually even work or not. So you just end up wasting time over there. So what you want to do is actually automate the problem. So the pro question we asked was, hey, how do we automatically figure out the fastest way to write any Python code? So that was, that's what CodeFlash is. So essentially, you can set up CodeFlash as a GitHub action for your team, for your repos, and then all the, whenever you create a new pull request, I can just quickly show you that, that version. So like this is literally my team working on this thing right now. And then CodeFlash popped in and said, hey, you know what, by the way, Hey, you know what, we found an optimization for this PR. Um, uh, some computing file hash can be made like this much percent faster. So essentially, whenever someone creates a new pull request, all the new code is continuously tried to be optimized by CodeFlash and it says, hey, you know what, this is 53% faster. And the optimization is quite clean actually. Like it's uh, like preventing buffers and like using memory view, byte array and all these things that I did not even know of existed. But it made our code faster. So this way, I mean, Right now, teams are actually automating. Like all the new code they're writing is always optimal. And I can show you a quick demo that we have for Cursor as well. So essentially, CodeFlash runs in the background and we want you to focus on writing new code. And then whenever you do a git commit, we look at, hey, what's the new code you just wrote and try to optimize it. So I just like manually triggered it here. Um, so CodeFlash, the way it works is analyzes your code. And then basically, uh, we have to prove two things. Fundamentally, we have to prove that the new optimization is correct. So if you do accept our changes, it won't break your code. And then we have to prove that it actually is faster. And then, figure, and then searching in this optimization space for the best implementation. And that's what we do. So for example, for this one, I already, I'm a good engineer, so I wrote some tests as well. So we discovered those. Um, yeah, and yeah, so we discovered these two existing tests and generated a bunch more tests as with the LLMs to test all the different ways this code may be called. And then what we do is we run this test to establish the original code behavior. So we instrument the code at a very low level to understand things like what are return values? Is it printing something on the screen? Is, it, is there a network call and all that? So we line profile the code as an expert engineer, see hey, what the, where the bottleneck may lie. We run the performance benchmarks and over here, it turns out that this code took 583 milliseconds to run. And then yeah, and then we like start generating optimization. So this is like a first attempt. I think this code is like, basically it takes in a bunch of articles yeah. and figures out common tags between all the different articles. So they have some like tag or suited as common article, uh, as article, uh, as a tag, and then figure out, hey, what is the common tag between all these articles? Some simple code. But yeah, so it goes through this thing. This one is actually 100x faster. It basically created a set for this and then goes through all of them. This is again 100x faster. This is, uh, I guess, 31x faster. So there are different solutions for the same thing. So yeah, then we like do a bunch more search, see if we can do better. We're going through all of those things. And the idea is that this happens in the background. You focus on writing new good code and making sure your thing works. And CodeFlash ensures that all your code in the future is always optimal. So I think this will take a bit, but essentially like teams are adopting us to like always write efficient, fast code. So right now it's only for Python, but we want to change, we want to like expand to new newer languages as well. So I think if you care about code performance um, and want to make sure that all the new code you're writing is always optimal, yeah, check us out. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Thank you. So how many iterations did it take? Yeah, so, okay, so this is, it came with a solution here. Um, <laughs> so essentially it just like said, hey, instead of doing all that list comprehension things, just use this set dot intersection update function that existed and go through it. So I think like on that, it's uh, in this case, I think it went through, I believe uh, 15 or so, I guess, 16. So I think we try to like, we have some heuristics and then we like execute code, look at what is the code doing during execution and use that information to like explore more. And it's, I mean, you can't optimize everything, 
But what we are really good at is that we are the, we have the state of the art evaluator and verifier that knows 100% that if something is an optimization or not. So that way you can like rely on us to like make all your code optimal. It's using an LLM under the cover to do so? Yes. Like Claude? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we use like uh, like Claude, OpenAI, and all these sort of things and like use it in the system. You have another minute if you okay, want to okay, say yeah, anything sure, else. Sure. sure. Um, what do I say? I mean, something like so essentially we have, it's not just for this like simple code, but we optimize like entire code bases as well. Maybe we can quickly show you what that looks like, I guess. Yeah, for example, like Sentry, I mean, I, you guys might know about it. So Sentry, like they're, they're like a application performance monitoring, like error capturing system. And I just re recently ran it on their repo and like we found 60 optimizations for them. So Datadog, I mean, Datadog is again, like there's this like tracing library for, uh, for like, again, the same type of thing. We found 57 optimizations for them. And these, like I choose these libraries because they are supposed to be extremely performant because this runs in runtime for them. And even for them, like we found so many optimizations. So it's just the point is that like, this is just, people have not thought so much about this problem. So every code base in the out, out there has tons of optimization. We have sped up like VLLM by 14X, we have sped up hugging face and like all these things. So, so yeah, I mean, you should try it out. Yeah. How do I know that uh, optimizing, it's not- So actually this part of the day, there's no Q and A. We're gonna keep it moving. And he's just a little over on his time, but you can connect with him afterwards. He would love to talk to you. Yeah. Check out Code Flash. Yeah, check out Code Flash. Warm round of applause. Thank you for showing us all that.